everyone, it's Bargain Princess! <laughs> okay, so it is winter. Well, not officially, I don't think, but it feels like winter. It's like so cold one day, but then it's like probably low 60s the next day, so I really can't complain. It hasn't really been that cold, kind of. I mean, when that snow falls, oh my god, I dread it. It's so pretty to look at, but when you have to shovel and clean it up the next day and it starts getting all gooky, I mean... Ew. But anyways, I get a lot of questions about my hair and how I protect it during the cold winter months. And honestly, you guys, I am very low maintenance when it comes to my hair just because you guys see how much hair I have. It is just way too much to be dealing with every single day. So majority of the time, I like to rock it in twists for a couple days, probably three days max. And then it starts getting like a little frizzy. Like this is third day, which I'm surprised because it looks like I just freshly twisted it. But as long as you style it and accessorize, I mean, if I took off my earrings, look how incomplete that is. I, I just couldn't walk around with twists. I mean, I could, but making sure that you accessorize your hair, whether it's with headbands or scarves or big, huge, bold statement pieces, I feel is the way to go. I also like rocking my twist on top of my head in a like high bun. But like I said, if I have an extremely good twist out, then I'll prolong my hair and wash it every other week. So yeah, very low maintenance, which I think is key also to healthy hair and growth. I mean, this is just all my opinions and my experience with my hair. I mean, everybody's different when it comes to that type of stuff. And then on top of that, I also love, love, oh my god, doing buns. I love a high bun, mid bun, low bun. I mean, they're just so chic, so effortless. I have so many hair tutorials. I'll link them down below in the description box. The last one I uploaded was a bun mohawk. I mean, I personally like the style. I think it's so chic, so unique. You could also do mini mouse buns and just plop them on your hair as long as your hair is protected and well moisturized then you should be golden <laughs> yeah twist outs are totally my thing beanies are another thing I just recently picked this one up from Charlotte Russe I love it this probably isn't the best for our hair just because the fabric the fibers could actually tug and snag onto our hair but like I said as long as your hair is well moisturized then you should be fine if anything you could wear a scarf and then put on the hat Gonna stretch it out a little bit. <laughs> See, with my big old head and thick hair, you gotta tap in the sides a little bit. And I mean, come on, look at this. Look how chic this is. And another protective style is wigs. Believe it or not, I have one of my own. I think I used to wear this maybe four or eight times while I was transitioning. But I purchased this wig even before wigs became popular on YouTube. Yeah, don't judge me. Looking at it now, this is like so shiny. It is just, I mean, it was cute at the time. Shoot. Look at this. It doesn't even fit my big old head. <laughs> but I would actually wear this. And then since I didn't want to flat iron my hair most of the time, I will just throw on a beanie and then I would cover it. I mean, look at that. Hey. <laughs> Hot mess. But yeah, wigs is definitely a great, a great protective style. It's fun wear just because you can switch up your look and especially if you don't want to flat iron your hair like I do I mean I haven't flattened my hair in a good four or five years it's been a long time since I flattened my hair and I know some of you guys are wanting me to flatten my hair but honestly I like my hair the way it is if anything I was thinking about flattening my hair once I reach a hundred thousand subscribers just because that would be like such a huge accomplishment but I don't know I mean I just literally just put that out there right now but who knows? If or whenever I reach 100,000, maybe I'll flat iron my hair. If that's something that we want to do, then comment down below. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, and then a lot of people are actually doing box braids. Like, for instance, there's so many YouTubers doing box braids, which looks so cute, but oh. The person who sailed it for me was Tia Mari. She's still rocking box braids right now. I follow her on Instagram. I love the sister sister girls. Actually, a few of you, <laughs> a few of you think I look like them. So, hey. <laughs> but Tia Mari with those box braids, red lip, cut out, peekaboo dress. Oh my God. Yes, hot mama with those box braids. Just make sure you moisturize your scalp. You could actually create a mixture in a spray bottle with a little bit of conditioner, olive oil. Just throw in a bunch of your favorite oils, shake it up, and just spritz it on your hair with a little bit of water. And that's a good way to moisturize your hair, especially if you like to wear box braids or any type of fake hair. Um, you just need to make sure that's the number one thing that your hair is well 
well moisturized. I actually think I want to do box braids. I don't even know if I can do it. That's just too much. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, and then Khloe Kardashian. I love Khloe Kardashian. I love the Kardashians, period. Don't judge me. I mean, they're very entertaining girls, but Khloe Kardashian is killing my Instagram feed with these gorgeous pictures where she was rocking these two French braids, very neutral makeup, this bold burgundy deep lip with lashes, I threw on some lashes inspired by her, and just neutral, muted eyes, and just, oh! I'll link their Instagrams down below, which I'm sure you're already following them by now, but braids, twist styles, the high buns, low buns are great protective styles during any time of the year, actually, because you guys know me, I love, I'm telling you, I love my buns, I mean, hello! <laughs> so that is it, that is how I protect my hair during these cold winter months, definitely comment down below any tips or suggestions that I might have missed to help me or anybody else out who's reading the comment section down below, and most importantly, don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed, hit that subscribe button for weekly videos, and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye! <laughs> Yeah, looking a little busted, but no worries. Here's another New York Spring Summer Fashion look inspired by Dolce & Gabbana, so shake it out. <laughs>